So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to look for Windows Explorer, or I might say Explorer.exe. You might need to scroll down to find it. But once you find Windows Explorer, you want to click on it. And then you want to click on Restart Task. See if that fixes the problem for you. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in Taskbar Settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to make sure you have Taskbar Items expanded. And then next to search, you want to make sure that it's not on hide, so you can set it to anything else you want. And also the other applications right here, you want to turn them all on. If you're talking about applications that you've installed and it's not appeared here, then we're going to head over to the next method. But this is for applications that come with Windows. And now for the next method, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer Options. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on the View tab. And then you want to make sure you have Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives selected. And then you want to scroll down again. And then you want to untick Hide Extensions for Known File Types. You want to untick this. And then you want to make sure you have Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives selected. And then click on OK. And now once you do that, now we're going to head over to Search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And now on the left hand side, we're going to click on this PC. And you want to find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's going to be the drive that has the Windows logo on it. You want to double click on it. And then you want to click on Users. And then you want to find your username. You want to click on your username. And now once you're here, you want to click on the App Data folder. And then you want to click on Local. And then you want to scroll down to the very bottom. And you want to delete the icon cached or DB file. So you want to delete this. So now once you delete that, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed. 